Welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess and today we're going to do a winter update on my orchid collection. It's been a while since I filmed my last video and it was kind of an unplanned hiatus which I'll explain at the end of the video. But for now I just want to focus on the plants. So this month I had a couple of plants in bloom. Not as many as I would like but it's still really cool nonetheless. The first one is my Fowl speciosa. This one is a Phalaenopsis species and it has sequential blooms. Currently it has about three flowers and it would have had a lot more if all of the buds did develop. Unfortunately, I had a lot of bud blast and I'm still trying to figure out why that's happening. If I can remedy the situation, I could probably get a lot more flowers on this plant since it has about four spikes and each one develops at least three buds on each spike. So it has the potential for an amazing show. Next is my Paphiopetalum macabre cross venestum. I'm really excited to show this plant because it's the first time I'm able to bloom a Paphiopetalum. This one is a tricolor modier type with lovely spots and this really cool veining on the pouch. The venestum parent really shines through in this bloom and I just really love the colors, I love the textures, and it's everything that I really like about a Paphiopetalum. It looks like a very vigorous plant and pretty easy to bloom. Next, I have several plants in spike. These ones are developing their buds, their flowers, and hopefully we'll get some flowers in the next couple of months. Right now, the weather is starting to warm up and the days are lengthening, so these spikes are starting to grow a lot faster than they did in the winter time. And that means more flowers coming up soon. The Fowl Taisuko Jasper grew a brand new spike with about six buds on this spike. I'm really looking forward to seeing these flowers again and I can't wait. This is probably one of the easiest fowls that I have been able to rebloom. My Fowl Corniniana is growing a new spike and it's still extending. I have a ways to go before I can see flowers on this one, but it looks really promising. My Paphia Petalum Drury looks to be growing two flowers. It's still in its bud stage and I'm not sure how it's going to develop right now. It looks like it may have aborted, but I'm not entirely sure since the coloring is brown and I don't know if that is normal for this plant or if it's something that I have to worry about. But for now, I'm just going to leave it and hope for the best. My Dia Lelia Snowflake is extending its spike. It looks like there's going to be about two buds that are going to form on this spike. It's probably... This is the second time that this plant has bloomed and I'm hoping that it will be a great show. The Dendrobium tobens gigantea is growing a spike. I believe it's starting to set a bud, but it's still a little early to tell. I'm hoping that this one fully develops since my other plant aborted its spike. Spring is on its way and that means a lot of new growths are starting. A lot of the plants are starting to wake up put out some new growths and really get ready for the spring and summer season. I'm definitely looking forward to all the little shoots and little growths and leaves and roots and everything that's coming out of these plants. It's looking spectacular. Even though the bulk of my collection is looking great, there are a few problems that I have encountered. During my break, my orchids got a little neglected. It was about a month before my plants got any water and afterwards, it got watered about once a week on a regular basis, but there was no fertilizer, there was no pH adjusting, it was just it was just watered with plain tap water. Most of my orchids did survive and they did fine. There wasn't any issues, but a couple of them did have some problems. The Neostylus lucneri aborted its spike. My Vandopsis parisii got stem rot and unfortunately the plant didn't survive. I don't have any video of it, but needless to say, it was not a pretty sight. My Dendrobium parisii is slowly losing its leaves. It's going into kind of a hibernation mode, but it is a little late and I'm not too concerned about it. It's normal for this plant to lose its leaves and I'm just hoping that the flowers and the buds will develop soon afterwards. My Potinar Triple Love and N got a little bit dehydrated and I ended up repotting this plant and it turned out that there was barely any roots on this. I'm, I'm hoping that the new growth will be healthy and have new roots to support this plant. Otherwise, I'm not sure how it's going to do because it's very dehydrated. My Maxillara Pseudorechenheimiana did terribly this month. 
I think it just got overwatered and it didn't have enough airflow with cool temperatures. And I think the sphagnum moss started to grow a little bit of mold. The roots started to rot and the plant just started to look really bad. It looks like the pseudobulbs have shriveled up and the leaves have slowly started to drop. I'm pretty sure this one is gonna be a goner and as much as I wanna save this one, I think it's a little too late to help this plant. Well, that's it. That's how my plants are doing for this past winter season. I'm hoping that spring will be much better and we'll see a lot more flowers, more new growths, and more blooms as we come down the line. So let me explain a little bit about what happened during my unplanned hiatus. At the beginning of the year, I got sick with the cold, my child got sick, and later my husband got sick and he got really sick. Um, he got a bacterial pneumonia that became septic and he ended up in the hospital for about a week. Luckily, he's recovered and we had been spending time at my in-laws for about a month. Um, he needed to recover to make sure that his lungs were clear and he's allergic to cats, but he loves cats and we live with cats. So that's not really beneficial to healing your lungs. So that's why we decided to stay at the in-laws for about a month while he was on antibiotics. This is the first week we're back home and we're just getting reacquainted and readjusted to just living in this space. It's been great to have our friends and neighbors and other people just support us and kind of take care of the house and the cats while we were away. Now that we're back, it's time to settle in and get used to our normal everyday processes. It's a little bit tricky because of the current state of affairs right now, but I'm hopeful that we are all ready and prepared to go and we are very mindful of everything we're doing. I was really looking forward to going to a couple of orchid shows and open houses, but a lot of them did get canceled. And since we're not really planning on going out as much this time, I'm not gonna be able to share any orchid shows or nurseries for the time being. However, I do have a backlog of a couple of videos that I wanna share, and so hopefully it'll be entertaining in the meantime. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, for the latest updates. And hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye.